Not a warning, be a good neighbor. The people next door may be tracking your every move. Check this out. It's live streaming video that's actually connected to a Collin County home. The 33's Giselle Phelps joins us with the need to catch a neighbor. Most of us expect to be caught on video surveillance at the mall or outside of a business, but nowadays you may pop up on a neighbor's camera on your very own street more often than you may think. This happens to be a camera that's upstairs out the front window. Mark Hershey used to live in an area with vandalism problems. He doesn't anymore, but he still likes to keep a close watch on his home. This was the one that's movable. He's got four cameras positioned on his property, all with different views. I started with one or two, got, got uh, the bug, and decided to add a few here and there. According to surveillance industry experts, he's part of a growing trend among homeowners. The president of Dallas-based Omni Watch says 20% of his company's business is for residential camera installations. This is in the $100 or so range. Experts say it's because the cameras have become more affordable for the average person. It's a way to get some some awareness of what's going on in your house when you're not there. But it's not only hardened criminals homeowners are capturing on their cams. Many are busting their own neighbors. This YouTube video is from Houston where one neighbor was caught keying another neighbor's car. I think it's a good idea that you protect your property uh, from whether it's from theft, whether it's from trespassers. Dallas attorney Gary Ashmore supports the use of residential cameras, but he says you've got to be careful not to expose yourself to a lawsuit. It depends what you're using it for. It depends what acts you're catching and then what it is you're doing with that video. Mark Hershey's cameras even capture part of his neighbor's property, but he says for the most part they seem to support his watchful eye. For the most part, uh, they, they seem to be aware of them. They seem to not mind. Uh, nobody said anything yet. Mark Hershey says in his case, he's not on the lookout for anything in particular. For him, it's just a hobby that's taken on a life of its own. Reporting live, Giselle Phelps, The 33 News. Arlington police are looking for a man they say exposed himself to some.